All right, so taking a look at the practice with binomial distributions, pretty easy stuff. All right, suppose that a local university, well, shoot, let me just go ahead and Okay, let's actually just get that right down there. So suppose that at a local university, 60% of students enroll live on campus. Okay, if 30 students are randomly selected, find each of the following. So the first one is, what is the probability that exactly 20 students left on campus? And so that one's pretty easy. That's going to be P. So P is going to be all set up as X equals 20. Okay, we don't know which 20. All right, so if we define our variables, N equals 30. Okay, that's the total number we're picking. K is going to be 20. Uh, our P is actually going to be equal to 0.62 and that means that our Q is going to be equal to 0.38 okay so when you set it up it should look like this it should be uh, let me see 30 choose 20 okay times by uh, 0.62 raised to the oh geez 20 20th power, and then you're going to times that by uh, 0.38 raised to the 10th power. And you just multiply that across, and you should be able to get your answer pretty easily. Okay. Okay, now if we were working with something like this, where the probability of at least 20 students, you would need to work with 1 minus that, because when you're working with this, you need to remember we need to be looking at below the number. Okay, so this will be 20. Yeah, right there. Okay. All right, so that's what we're going to be including with it. Okay. All right, so this is the form you're going to have to work with, and then this would just set up as your binomial distribution this way. And then less than works like this. So the probability of x being less than 20, you actually have to take into account 19 and below. So you're going to be looking for the probability of x being uh, less than, oops, less than or equal to 19. So if you work across this way, you should be fine. Please make sure you're using your calculators when you're doing this stuff. Either you can write it up by hand and then put it in the calculator, or you can do it in your calculator under the calculator notes, but please take your time when working with this stuff with binomial distributions, okay? Alright, that's it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.